The president late today no longer saying he is unhappy with those crowds chanting, send her back. Tonight calling them incredible patriots. And earlier this week, this outrage, the reaction, the president, when asked about it, said, I am joining in the fight. Tonight, what he's saying now, and former First Lady Michelle Obama, who did not mention the news directly, though she did weigh in today with a tweet. Here's ABC's Kara Phillips tonight. Tonight, President Trump defending his North Carolina supporters, who chanted this about Minnesota Congresswoman Ilhan Omar, who came to the U.S. as a child refugee from Somalia. The chant was inspired by the president's racist tweet suggesting four Democratic congresswomen go back to the countries they came from, even though all are American citizens and three of them were born here. Under pressure from his own party, the president said he felt a bit badly about the chant I'm and was not happy. Today, a, a different tune. You know what I'm unhappy with? I'm unhappy with the fact that a congresswoman can hate our country. Most people in North Carolina, that stadium was packed. It was a record crowd, and I could have filled it 10 times, as you know. Those are incredible people. Those are incredible patriots. Later, I asked him. The chant, send her home. Is it racist to you? Say it. The chant, send her home. Is so that... You know what's racist to me? When somebody goes out and says the horrible things about our country, the people of our country, I think to me, that's a disgrace, and we should never forget it. We're dealing with people that hate our country. Tonight, Michelle Obama speaking out. The former first lady doesn't mention the president by name, but her aim is clear, tweeting, what truly makes our country great is its diversity. Whether we are born here or seek refuge here, there's a place for us all. We must remember, it's not my America or your America, it's our America. So let's get right to Kira Phillips live at the White House tonight. And Kira, world leaders are watching this from afar, and they're now weighing in on the chance and how the president is handling this. Indeed, strong words, too. Referencing, David, the president's racist tweet, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau saying the comments made were hurtful, wrong, and completely unacceptable. And German Prime Minister Angela Merkel also weighing in, declaring that she stands in, quote, solidarity with the four congresswomen. David? Kira, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.